YouTubers. Uh, my name is Rob. It's my first ever YouTube video, so there we are. Put myself in the public domain. Um, <coughs> it's the missing manual that does not come with your uh, King King when you buy it. I bought one recently. Um, it arrived. No instruction manual. It took me many, many gas canisters uh, to actually get the thing to pressurise. That many, that many, to get it to seal a pressure. Very straight, four pounds for a pack of ten. Um, so I went through more than four pounds worth anyway. Um, three problems, okay? So three things you need to do to get your king keg to actually seal pressure. Firstly, pressure can escape from the tap itself. Now I've got this sparkle tap here, which was a bit of an optional extract, but I decided to go for it because I do like my Yorkshire bitters. Um, I've taken the little sparkle thing off it. Um, the seal, the O-ring, uh, goes on the outside of these, by the way, not on the inside. That's the first point to realise. Don't put that on the inside. Um, you've got a back nut, essentially, um, screws in the back. So what you need to do is get it to, uh, hand tight. So one hand in, obviously, back nut on. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. And what we're trying to do is actually get a good compression of that O-ring uh, from the tap to the front of the keg. So we turn the O-ring as tight, uh, sorry, the back nut as tight as we can. Um, to get that. Now what you need to do is at the beginning part, put that tap that's facing down at the moment now, up in the air and turn it as hand tight as you can. I've got small hands, tiny girl's hands, there's no power in these hands, okay, so I do it as tight as I can. And then on the outside, just uh, pull that round into position and that extra turn, that extra half turn you do is enough to really compress that o-ring against the keg and that solves the tap leaking problem. Um, then I found that my uh, cap Move just the pressure point to the cap now not working and not sealing coming in um, you know out of the threads on the sides okay so the caps on these are quite fiddly um, it's, just, it's a sturdy cap it's a sturdy big enough cap um, but everyone says you know make sure you uh, lubricate that with a little bit of Vaseline the o-ring there's a little o-ring that sits inside that uh, in the corners push it down make sure you've got it your thumbs all the way around it Nice and tight, and a little bit of Vaseline to lubricate it. it doesn't actually help seal it. It's just good for, um, you know, stop it from sticking essentially. But yeah, make sure that's nicely compressed, and then tighten it. And I mean tighten it. Okay, so I went and got. Give me one second. Sorry, not the props. Oh, where are we? Here we are. This thing. This thing. I bought this anyway because people said it's hard to get off, and obviously with my little weak girly hands. I, uh, I thought I'd better get some help. So this is the help. I then actually used to seal it as well because if I do it hand tight, put pressure in, it's coming out all over the shop. This another good quarter turn, maybe even a half turn, um, gets it super, super tight and that solves that problem for me. Some people um, have uh, additional problems and they need to use PTFE tape, um, which I've not got any to show you. It's just plumber's tape. You get it from Screw Fix. And very inexpensive, doesn't cost much at all. It's a bit like a, a rubber band, a white one, you just wrap that all the way around the threads and over the tops of the seals uh, and the tops of the, uh, sorry, the cake entrance um, and then twist your, your cap on top of that. There's videos, there's another chapter, done loads of videos on that on YouTube, so look him up and thanks for that tip, mate. Didn't help me because it wasn't my problem. My problem in this instance was the S30 valve, okay? So the S30 valve, after I all this effort, was still causing me problems. This is the new start one, so I'm not sure if there's many videos done on this yet. And so I thought I'd just, you know, uh, take some time to give back to the community. So this is the Hamilton Bard um, S30 stainless steel cap. It's not got the rubber bungs on the bottom. So some of them used to have a rubber sealant on here to seal the hole. As you can see, that hole's just pretty much open. I think there's a rubber band in there somewhere. Um, I've not quite worked out how it works, but essentially, this is this is uh, the um, the Hamilton Bard one, the S30. I've, I've drawn the diagram here really bad. I do apologise because I've already sealed my kick up and actually get pressure. Um, I can't undo it. I've um, got my amber rail in there. Um, what is it in there? It's a Huel Melon or Hull Melon. Pale Ale, extra pale malt, a bit of Morris, uh, Morris Otter standard. Um, and Huel Melon, a bit of Challenger or Target, something like that. I can't remember now. Tastes well nice anyway. Very mild. I don't like uh, very hoppy bitters, but there we go. Um, so this is the cap. That's the S35 you've seen from the outside, and that is the cap, as best I can draw it. Sorry, I'm no um, Bill Oddy. Not Bill Oddy. Roll, uh, what's his name? Anyway. Um, 
this is the inside nipply rubber that was causing me the problem. Now, you can't actually see it here, but when I first got it, these are cut very imperfectly, imprecisely, okay? Don't trust the manufacturer to actually do this properly because they haven't done it. This rubber here was actually going over, it was that long, it was going over the, the little nipple thing at the bottom, okay? Because of that, as soon as you apply pressure, it's straight off the edge. So I trimmed it back down to below the, the little um, bobble line here, and that helped once, but again, second time, it just went flying off. Reason being, when you first buy these things, is that's probably sat there and been connected for some time, and it's just got used to being the size it is, so it's not really got much stretch in it anymore, and as a result, it doesn't really hold a good pressure. So there's a little hole here, and what happens is you put the gas in the top, yeah, and it uh, opens up the elastic, the air goes in, and then obviously when it's finished, the, uh, it shuts, and then the pressure can't get back out again. But I was finding I was putting the pressure in here, it was filling up, of course, this was then falling off, falling down, you know, and then the gas would just go straight back up again in my face. So if it's gas onto the S30 valve and gas coming straight back out again, you know, most likely it's this one-way valve here that needs some help. Now, I couldn't be bothered to go and buy another rubber kit for it. Um, not that expensive, £4 or so. I just didn't have the time. So a quick little fix, which I found, is to get some sheep. You can't really tell this because I've cut it now. But that is... Um, it's a cable tie, box standard tiny small cable tie, you know, the ones with the little grooves on it. And you just um, wrap that around the bottom of it in a little circle and put it tight, 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 tight. With the aim that, if I draw this a bit bigger, I guess, um, in fact, it's not going to be drawing this bigger, so I'm just going to do it like this. Um, you've got, uh, you, you put it basically around the bottom here, okay? So a nice big cable tie. And what that does is it actually it stops it from ever getting past this little nook here anyway. But it does mean that you can open up and let the gas out the top, like that. It flaps open at the top. When it's finished, it flaps closed without actually slipping off. So, very simple and effective. Um, may even save you money having to buy replacement rubbers. Sorry for the replacement rubber industry. Um, they're not all that cheap for some places, for a piece of rubber. Um, so yeah, cheap and inexpensive cable tie. That's pretty much it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my video. I've not rambled too much. I was trying to make it concise failed but anyway that's me uh, thank you ever so much for watching